YouTube and welcome back to Free Friday. Today we're going to use that three draw in the three draw bend in the three draw double bend with a lick on each respective chord of a one, four, five blues change. So this is what we're going to learn today. I got this cool little lamp and my lone wolf mic is going to sound like this. And then band it. Now it all the way down, almost. focusing on. Then we're doing other things. I've given you the, a lick that you can combine with each one of these three notes. Again, the one chord is the three draw. The four chord is the three half step bend. And the five chord is the three double bend. Now the other two notes are really insignificant. If I play those at the right time, it's gonna sound like I'm playing a blues change. Technically what I'm doing for my music theory nerds out there is I'm playing the major third of one, then I'm playing the flatted seven of four, and then I'm playing the five of five. The bottom line is it works. <laughs> Bye. 
check out my video called Easy Soulful Blues and check out my video called Playing Blues on the Three Draw Only. Those videos will give you all the tools you need to continue to expand on this subject. But this video here is meant to get you to understand that all you got to do is hit that note somewhere in the change. So really the most important part is just familiarizing yourself with the 12 bar blues. So what's the root of one? What's the root of four? What's the root of five? And, and then start putting in some of these different notes. What are they? They're harmonies. They're harmonies to the root of each chord. And we're just picking out some cool ones that happen to all be on the three. Three draw, three draw half step bend, three draw double bend. Let's go back to the music and let me show you how far you can go with this stuff. All right, I'm back at this killer MCCD sessions. All I gotta think is there's three chords. There's three notes I wanna hit. Three draw, three half step bend, and three double bend. There's that five, that's the double bend. There's that half step bend, see I can hear that. And here comes that three draw. Now back to the three draw on the one. somewhere on the chord. Free Friday. I hope you dug it. As you might have noticed, this lesson has a lot in common with some of the other lessons. The ones that I linked below that I told you about, it's just expanding on it a little bit at a time. Really, the thing is, I could do hours and hours and hours on just this subject and really not even get into the end of it. We didn't even cover the second octave. We didn't even cover how you could use the six overblow instead of the three draw half step bend. We just scratching the surface. And you know, it's really important to stay focused on these things, right? 
We don't have to jump to a new thing every single week. As I watch back, I'm not thinking about the licks most of the time. I'm not even thinking about the way I look or how bad my hair is or whatever the deal is. I'm thinking about what's my tone like? How do I sound? Do I look relaxed? Do I feel relaxed? Do I sound relaxed, right? <clears throat> and here's the thing, guys. Some days are better than others, right? Some days are better than others, right? We gotta sit with stuff, including ourselves. We gotta sit and get comfortable with ourselves and we will find our voice. We will find what feels natural and what doesn't. Just give it time, be cool to yourself. That's the main thing is be cool. Try to have a sense of humor about this stuff. Look, I watch some of these other players that I, I think, man, I'll never be that good. I'll never be as good as that, right? One of the one of the coolest friends I got is a guitar player named Stevie Lidworth. And somebody was talking about Stevie and, and Roddy Earl and and, uh, and and Stevie said, and Stevie's a humble guy, so he must have really been mad when he said this, but he said, wait, somebody said to him, you're no Roddy Earl. And he said, yeah, well, he's no, he's not me either, right? That's right. So you might not be a Jason Ritchie, but I'm not a you either. All we can do is be the best yous you can be, right? So when I give you a lick, right, I'm asking you to rearrange it. I might be asking you to play just those notes and only those notes. Don't play any other. But I'm not telling you how to play just those notes. We got to find that balance between listening to others and taking in advice and direction while at the same time making it our own. The only way to do that is first just dogmatically at face value, at face value say, I'm gonna try what he or she says, right? That's what I'm gonna do. They said to do this, I'm gonna do it, see how it sounds. After that, well, can I still do it, but do it a little differently? Can I change the phrasing? Can I hang on this note longer? We gotta make it our own. I'll tell you guys, one of the hardest things about being in the public eye, right? Whether it's being on stage, making a record, or that Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, or right here on YouTube, or even just having friends that are honest with you, and I'm not talking just about music, is taking criticism and taking advice. People write stuff, and we don't know their motives, right? They could, they could be, their motive could be to, to, they're jealous of you, they're angry of you, they wish they were you, they, or maybe they really just don't like you and they're just mean people. It could be any one of those motives. But what is the message? Well, we have to look at the message. No matter how rough and how bad it's delivered, we gotta see it. Sometimes I'm tempted on these YouTubes, especially with this Talking Blues series coming up, I'm really tempted to be like, I'm not gonna read any of the comments for my own mental health. <laughs> but I have to believe that I'm gonna have the strength from somewhere, I'm gonna have the strength from somewhere to discern what is something I can work on. I need to take a look at it, I need to avoid how mean it is said to me or how nice it is said to me, not let it go to my head but not let it destroy me either, right? And look at that piece of advice and then run with it. It's really, really hard. It's just as hard as trying to find the balance of learning melody and then learning rhythm and then learning harmony. I'm spending too much time on harmony. I'm spending too much time on melody. I'm spending too much time on rhythm. Or I'm spending too much time on my spiritual growth. I'm spending too much time on looking good. I'm spending too much time on my intellect, right? We need a balance of all three of those things. What is that? It's impossible, <laughs> but we can strive for it. We can strive for it. So relax, dig yourself. I hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned for the Thank crack. you everybody for tuning in to Jason Ritchie's YouTube channel. 16 years of incredible YouTube harmonica related content. That's right, 16 years. At this point, over 500 free instructional videos. If you're interested in what kind of harmonicas I play, microphones, amplifiers, pedals, any harmonica related products, 
please check out my sponsors. These sponsors, in one way or another, also help keep these videos going. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Blue Moon Harmonicas, bringing you the best in custom harmonicas. We got custom cover plates, custom combs. You can get your name put on it, just like me. Reed work, refurbished pre-war marine bands. Look at that, they put the little brace there, no more crushing the covers. The Lone Wolf Blues Company. The very best in pedals, microphones, almost anything you need for your amplified harmonica need. The Lone Wolf Blues Company, right here out of Ponchatoula, Louisiana. We got you. Harp gear, amplifiers. They got big ones, they got small ones. You know what they sound like? They sound like the best tube amps on the market. Harp gear, amplifiers out of Ocala, Florida. Pedal pad, pedal boards. Incredible custom pedal boards, built to last, made by two brothers who really, really care. Honer harmonicas. A moon cat loves the Honer harmonica. I like the Marine Band. I get Tom to put the little special 20 cover plates on it. He tricks them out, but they play great right out of the box. All of these sponsors are linked below in the description box. What else is linked below? Patreon. Consider becoming a Patreon patron. You'll be supporting me. You'll be supporting the cause. You'll be keeping these videos free for everybody. And you'll get a lot of extra content over at Patreon. You'll get vlogs, occasionally some extra lessons, some posts that you might not see on Facebook. A lot of stuff that I can't say or won't say here on YouTube is over on Patreon. I love my Patreon family. You guys are the best. If you're not into the monthly subscription, you can also give me a one-time tip at Venmo or PayPal below too. I'm a touring musician and I play all over the country, really all over the world with all kinds of different acts. Check out my website, www.mooncat.org. In all seriousness, YouTube, Patreon, my sponsors have absolutely changed my life. Subscribe below, set reminders for the videos, don't miss any events. Every single Friday, there's a free harmonica lesson and a lot more. Even if you're just subscribing, you're helping me a lot. Those of you that are joining me on Patreon, you guys are helping me to make better decisions with my career. In all sincerity, thank you so much, YouTube, for just an incredible, incredible outlet. It's a video diary. I get to look back at 16 years of these videos. I had a lot of new friends, some really fine musicians, made some great contacts in the industry, and it's all because of you. Thank you, my harmonica family.